two months before the presidential election, the Federal Reserve today decided to keep interest rates on hold, but it signaled that it's probably going to be raising rates come December. Three main messages came out of the Fed's meeting today. The first one from Janet Yellen, the Fed chairwoman, is that central bank leaders are pretty positive about how the economy is doing right now. They think employment is growing pretty steadily. The economy has picked up after the first half of the year. And they're starting to see workers come back into the labor force after hiding on the sidelines for years. They also don't think that the economy is overheating. And because of that, they think they can wait a few more months before they raise interest rates. Here's what Janet Yellen had to say about that. Our decision does not reflect a lack of confidence in the economy. Conditions in the labor market are strengthening, and we expect that to continue. But with labor market slack being taken up at a somewhat slower pace than in previous years, scope for some further improvement in the labor market remaining, and inflation continuing to run below our 2 percent target, we chose to wait for further evidence of continued progress toward our objectives. Two other important developments at the Fed's meeting involved dissent and defense. On the dissent front, three Fed officials dissented from the Fed's decision to keep interest rates where they are right now. They wanted to raise them right away. Three other officials say the Fed doesn't need to raise interest rates at all this year. There are warring factions inside the central bank, and Janet Yellen, the Fed leader, has to bring them together if the Fed is going to raise interest rates by the end of the year. The other issue was defense. The Fed has been attacked by Donald Trump, the Republican presidential nominee, for being politicized, for keeping interest rates low to help the Obama administration. Janet Yellen was asked about that. And I can say emphatically that partisan politics plays no role in our decisions about the appropriate stance of monetary policy. We are trying to decide what the best policy is to foster price stability and maximum employment and to manage the variety of risks that we see as affecting the outlook. So the Fed has two more meetings before the end of the year. One is a week before that election and the other is mid-December. The betting money on Wall Street right now is that they inch interest rates up by December, but they skip the November meeting.